This InfoWorks workflow is going to show the basics of setting up a tunnel. So here in InfoWorks 2024, if we go to the Create tab in the Structures section, we can choose Tunnel. And just like with the tools like Bridges, we can choose a Start Station, Add a Length, and an End Station. I'm just going to manually drag and drop this so it goes through the topography. By default, it is following the component road. So that tunnel will follow the elevation of the component road. We can go here and see this in uh, the 3D view. We can also go and change the style of that tunnel. So this one is just a basic rectangle, but we have numerous components you can choose from here. You can also import these in from Revit as a Revit family, should you want to use that workflow. We'll choose the D shape for our tunnel. And now this will refresh to reflect that new profile. We next want to have that tunnel go through the topography. So we can right click and go down to profile view and in the profile view we can see more information about what we've been doing with our bridge and our component road here we want to drop the elevation of that component road so the bridges pass pa uh, so the tunnel passes through the topography and here we have it now going through the topography from model builder and i can finally take back the end station closer to where it penetrates the topography and let that refresh. And now we have our tunnel inside of InfoWorks 2024.